Good morning, beautiful students. So I am Miss Samantha, and today we're gonna to start our mindful moment, sitting up straight and tall, finding our anchor spot, so where we notice our breath, so our chest or our belly, whatever's most comfortable. And we're just gonna take a moment, close our eyes, if you'd like, and we're gonna breathe in, deep, 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 breathe out, Exhale, breathe in, breathe out, and in just a moment, I'm going to play our bell, and just invite you to listen to the sound as you continue breathing, eyes closed if you wish, calmly noting that your lungs fill and empty. So today's mindful moment is going to continue on yesterday. Yesterday we talked about sending kind thoughts to others. We thought about people we loved, we imagined them healthy and strong and joyful and, and peaceful and calm. And so today we're gonna think about ourselves, thinking about that. So hands in the air, we're gonna make a heart and we're gonna make that heart doo -doo 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 -doo. rest right in front of our own heart and rest our hands on our heart. And if you'd like to close your eyes, you can do so. And right now, I want you to imagine yourself. Imagine yourself healthy and strong, maybe playing your favorite sport. For me, it's swimming, swimming lots and lots of laps. Just picture yourself healthy and strong. Now picture yourself doing something you love, laughing, playing. For me, it's playing board games with lots of friends. And now picture yourself peaceful and calm, doing something where you're content, maybe curled up watching a movie with family, reading a book, snuggling with your cat or dog, something where you're just peaceful, content. Now you're going to open your eyes and we're going to put our hands in the air and we're going to give ourselves a big hug. <laughs> so hug yourself big and tight and we're going to repeat those words that we said yesterday but this time with I. So hold yourself tight and repeat after me. I am healthy and strong. I am joyful and happy. I am calm and peaceful. Now give yourself one big hug again and release. Okay, so today's book is called The Day You Begin. It is written by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated Ray Rafael Lopez. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way the words curl from your mouth. The beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rig Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom may fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Rigoberto from Venezuela. Your teacher says so soft and beautifully. Your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming. The first notes of a song. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller, 
when the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Chela says. These shells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile. They look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir, a small triumph of a journey. Their travels going on and on. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb. And your days spent at home caring for your little sister, who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep. And in that room, where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Naja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath your meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember. Rice is the most popular food in the world. There'll be times when the climbing bars are too high. The, the run is too fast and too far. The game isn't one you can ever really play. Some may say, I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you'll have a turn later. There'll be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self. Steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina. I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice getting stronger than it was a minute ago. We read books and we told stories, and even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Huh. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina, too. And all at once in the room, where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. The end. So today, I want you to think about what story, what part of you makes you so fabulously you. What language or what tradition for your family that you love and you're proud of. Talk about it with your family. Talk about it with whoever's with you. Learn how to share your story. Be proud of everything that's you. So for now, I love you all. I'll ring our bell. You can sit up straight can rest your hand on your heart and just take a deep breath. Remember, you're strong, you're healthy, may you be happy, may you be calm.
Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow.